The next topic I want to talk about uh, is uh, guard pages. Uh, so guard page is, uh, is a mechanism in Windows uh, which provides a one-shot alarm for uh, memory uh, page access. Okay. This mechanism can be uh, quite useful for an application which wants to monitor uh, the, the growth of uh, like large dynamic data uh, in, in its memory. And a good, a good example is the way the OS uh, tracks the, uh, the growth of a stack. Okay, so let's, uh, let's take a look at actually uh, some example process. When you go to Process Explorer, uh, you can find guard pages really easily. Okay, uh, on the protection uh, protection column in Memory tab, you can see this plus G uh, indicator, which says that this memory uh, region has been set with a guard page. Okay, and as you can see, all these uh, plus G m memories are actually uh, allocated for for the, for the stack. Guard pages are also used as a memory breakpoints uh, in debuggers. So let me show it to you. And let me actually get back to here. So let's set, let me attach to notepad. And let's go to memory map. And let's set a memory uh, breakpoint on access single shot, okay, on relux section of Notepad module. So now, if we go to here and refresh, we see that one uh, one uh, memory page has been set with a guard page, okay. When I remove that, F2, refresh, this uh, tag is gone, okay? So now let's jump into MSDN and see the documentation about how to use these um, uh, guard pages in the code, and then we will go to the uh, source code of our implant. So how we can uh, set up uh, a memory uh, as uh, a guard page? So uh, usually we use virtual alloc or virtual alloc ex functions to allocate memory. And one of the para parameters uh, we can uh, give there is page guard, which sets the specific memory region as a, uh, you know, uh, to become a guard page, all right? And any attempt to access this um, uh, this page will um, result in a, an exception being ra raised by the system. This status guard page violation exception, and this exception is going to be sent to the appropriate handler. Okay, exceptions is a kind of mechanism in uh, in Windows allowing the developer to handle situations which are like abnormal, so to speak. So for example, when uh, we have a, a division by zero or some access violation is, is happening, or as we can see here with uh, guard pages as well. Um, Windows uh, delivers several methods for uh, exception handling. And one of them, which we are going to use uh, in this module is vector exception handling. And basically, the, the whole process of handling exceptions, it's quite complicated, but to cut the story short, uh, in user land, when the exception occurs, the system will try to send this exception to the, to the debugger if the debugger is actually attached to the process in which the, the exception occurred, okay? If there is no debugger, then the system will try to locate appropriate exception handler and then pass, pass the exception to, to, to this handler. And if there is no extra exception handler registered, then 
the exception is being handled by the default handler, which in most cases uh, ends with uh, process being terminated. Okay. So how this information and what kind of information is being passed with the exception? So the exception handler uh, is just a function which gets um, a pointer to a structure exception pointers uh, which is uh, which you can see here and this structure only contains only two pointers to another two structures exception uh, a record and a context so the exception record contains as much detailed information about the specific exception and the context structure uh, contains information about what was the state of the CPU when the exception occurred okay so, for example, the values of the registers, uh, the status of the flags, and, and, and so on. Okay. So, the context record, uh, we are already familiar with that from the previous courses. So, as I said, these are, this structure contains values of, of the uh, specific registers. But the exception record has several fields. And there are uh, mostly two which are uh, uh, important from our perspective, which is exception code uh, and exception address. So the exception address will hold the address of the um, ins instruction pointer when the exception occurred, all right? And the exception code will give us more detailed information about what kind of exception we are dealing with. Okay, is it a breakpoint in case of uh, a debugger? Is it a floating point divided by zero or other operations and so on and so forth? So, uh, so in our project, we are going to utilize God pages. And for that, we need to create an, a, a dedicated exception handler, which will uh, utilize the uh, God pages um, mechanism. So now let's jump into the source code.